All right, so right off the bat, we're gonna go with Bowser and Mega Man going straight into Smashville. Uh, pretty obvious, pretty neutral stage. Uh, most players are gonna opt out, opt to go into that uh, stage game one. Um, all right, so so we're seeing uh, Red Tux just utilizing his uh, positional advantage with. Uh, Mega Man just making sure he gets some uh, some spacing on him. He's able to just kind of like uh, walk him off and make sure that uh, Makibas cannot approach him at all. He's got already 66% on him and Makibas hasn't even touched him. Uh, how are you doing, SD God? Hey, how you doing, Alarox? Doing Glad great. Just bad. watching uh, Red Tux just do his thing, yeah, set up the wall and just kind of let uh, not let Makibas uh, near him okay. at all. I do want to see uh, how it's going to be whenever Michael has gets a little bit more rage on him, you know, just a tiny bit more percent on him because uh, he can walk through lemons. Oh yeah, he definitely can. Uh, so it's a little bit complicated for, uh, sorry, for Maki Bus to approach him. Uh, so, but, so I think that I've seen more Red Tux throwing the boss low and using Leaf Shield to stop him. Yeah, that's what's going to have to happen more because, you know, he can just, uh, and right yeah. there. Oh, wow, oh, actually, wow. not killing, connecting but not killing, just a tiny bit too early. Sorry, you were saying? No, that's what I was saying. He can, uh, I forget what, I, ooh, there it is. I forget what it's called. It's called, uh, Tough Man. Is what tough, it's called. Uh, yeah, tough guy. Tough guy, tough guy. There, tough you, go. Guy. there tough you go. Guy. Yeah, now Red Tux in a really bad position. He, uh, has, the, he's, he's in the disadvantage with the stock, and now you have Bowser with Rage, and considering that Mega Man doesn't usually kill very early, it's going to be hard for him to get rid of Bowser before Bowser racks up a lot of damage on him. So, yeah. It's not a good spot for him, but I'm sure he can uh, get some back air kills right now and try to get uh, seal the stock a little bit earlier than. He I do want to see if he's going to go for some kind of gimp of some kind, Makabaz. Really? You know, since, yeah, he, since he has the stock. I mean, he lead. has the stock lead, so he could have gone for a down air and like just ended mm. it right there, right? Down air, your side B, you know, something. Because since he has the most percent, he controls where the side B goes. Yes. I think it's well, isn't it the one who has the least? No, it's the one. Oh who yeah, the one has the most. Yes. Whoever has the most controls where it goes. Well, if it's if it's even if it's the percents are really close, it's kind of like a. It's in between. Whoever pushes but, the most. Yeah, pretty much. Is SDI it? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, there. I'm surprised we didn't see anything like a better conversion from that. Yeah, Retix usually likes to go for the grabs on the ledge. I feel like he should use some more of up tilts because you know that's mm. a really good kill option. Like. And that's probably gonna be it. Yep. There it is, 100 percent. Or 108% rage. Now, one thing uh, that move right there. I want to see Makabaz use that a little, <laughs> little bit more, you know, because it kills so incredibly early. It does. It and does. on top of that, like it's not as the hitbox to start it up is huge. And on top of that, if they shield it, you know, shield break. I mean, he's he's like up. It's a very. It's it a very has good a lot move. of end lag, but if he's playing he's playing against Mega Man, who has to rack up a bunch of damage without he like there's no he has no setups so that's gonna kill you right off the bat. You the know? issue the issue with uh, that I feel with using uh, down B on, on this set matchup is that you have to be relatively close to your opponent to sweep them up with you otherwise you're gonna just kind of like hit him but not really sweep in with you so Mega Man obviously is facing you enough that it's hard for Maki Bus to get near him so he can get the down beat. Yeah but it's also it's the same like it's actually reaches farther than grab just a bit so if he can get in and get a grab he can also get in and get a down beat you know if he just runs that's up true. to him and just reads a spot dodge you know right then and there you know side B and that's a, that's a kill that's yeah a that's true that's true I think something that I've seen a lot of Bowser's do is particularly villain from Northwest Arkansas uh, doing the instead of the Koopa at like around 70% instead of going for like the damage you just kind of wait for them to air dodge and then you down B on top of them and yeah, that, that kills. That's that kills a really, as well. it's a really good uh, mix-up because you know they, if they're expecting you to continuing mm. the uh, the Koopas like you've been doing, and if they, if they try to air dodge, which is not what you should do, you should always try to DI it away and uh, jump is from what I've heard. Uh, because there's if you're if you're going to be able to air dodge it, you should be able to jump because otherwise uh, it's not there, you don't have enough room for you to air dodge it. You know. Yeah. Uh, both players just taking a little bit to start up this next match. I think Red Talks mm -hmm. wants a little bit of a break right now. You know, he gets really, uh, not no, timid is the wrong word, but he gets antsy <laughs> real easily, especially pl uh, playing against heavies. I mean, he could be, oh, yeah. he could be, uh, you know, 100% the second he's at, you know, 50, you know. Jackson. He lost. Sandbag. Mm -hmm. No, like, we. I play you. Not right now, after this set. So what winner's round is this? This is winner's semis. This is a best of five situation. Semis? Okay. 
it's best of five. Uh, winner goes into winner's finals uh, against a uh, winner of K-Killer, Cheeseballer, or Sage. <laughs> Actually, all three, uh, pretty much TKO is guaranteed to make it into Winner's Finals because you have uh, K-Killers, Cheese Baller, and Sage all in that side. Uh, so it's actually a, uh, kind of a neat thing uh, to kind of happen over there. Um, How do I change the score? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry about that. I'll get it. So you click here on... Oh, there it is. That's right what I was looking for. Score. It's been a bit since I've, been, <laughs> since I've commentated no, with you guys. It's not a big deal. There we go. Right. Yeah, Maki Bus uh, with the score lead, uh, taking the first game, and now we're going it's, it, back into uh, game two, going for FD. I'm surprised that uh, we didn't see a ban from Maki Bus for FD, because I know that Red Tux loves to come to FD. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, as mu I mean, as much as he likes to go to FD, he can, uh, he, uh, like, I, like we were talking about earlier, he can kind of just run through Lemon, so if the only options he has is, like, Crash Bomb or you know, like, Metal Blade, you know? He yeah. can just, he can, like he just did right there, he can run and grab the metal blade without any kind of, and Ooh. again, not going to take it, uh, Politanus Temple's ceilings, I feel like, are a little bit higher than <laughs> FD's. I think that most uh, FD's, most Omega's are pretty standard. I think there might be a couple, uh, but I don't know if Politanus Temple is one of them. Uh, uh, I always feel like the, the ceilings <laughs> are high, just, just a tad bit higher than <laughs> on some other stages. That's that bias, right? You know, it's like, ah oh, shit, you know, I, I would have killed somewhere else. Yeah, right. <laughs> there we Granted, go. I love Very Politanus. good back here. Very good back here by Red Now Tux. Red Tux and Lee. Now we're gonna really see the wall. Yeah. Now, now Red Tux is not. It, it, he's not gonna. Oh, I'm really surprised that he went for and that. It's gonna be his stock. Nope. Ooh. Got out of that just nice. Now I want to see. I feel like Red Tux. He's gonna play on the edge a bunch. He's gonna be like jumping, not necessarily jumping off stage, but you know, jumping away from the stage a little bit and then like floating back. Since Bowser can't really, you know, come, he can come out there, but you can pretty much read what's coming at him. No, yeah. I agree completely. I agree completely. Now the pr issue is that uh, Retux cannot really utilize the lemons to space him out, so he's relying on the boss off, something that uh, Machibus realizes, and he's trying to like hold on to it, so uh, Retux has no way to approach him. To, 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 to keep him out, I guess. And reading the air dodge right there. Uh, also, Monty right at that, yes, you, sh you will be able to watch this on past broadcasts. We'll also we'll, we'll be uploading the VODs to our YouTube page, which is uh, found under bit.ly slash TKOVOD. Uh, I can actually link you that right now. This is our YouTube page. If you want to go ahead and uh, like that, we'd really appreciate that. Oh, I feel like he should have went for the down, the, the down air. Uh, was it called the Iron Knuckle? The Iron Knuckle. <laughs> that is actually some really good, uh, really good spot for Red Tux to be in. Uh, kind of a scary spot at the same time. You know, he he has the lead. He can definitely get a kill soon enough. But right now, honestly, one more or two more grabs by Maki Bus, and that's gonna be game over for uh, Red Tux over here. Oh, the stare down. Oh, the stare down is scary. <laughs> honestly, okay. If he, I want to say starting at like 70%, I think he, the Koopa is gonna be a. No, 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 because he was doing that at like no. 90 and it wasn't even getting No, close. I think, I think close, it'll but. probably start at around late 80s, if not early 90s, especially with the rage right now. I'm thinking uh, the Ding Dong. Ding Dong's like right now. Oh, that's and, gonna be ooh, it. the last hit of back air. Good job. Very good job, very good job. That was Going a really for the good, kill. That was a really good cross up. And. Uh, Alright, one second. Oh, yeah, can you. I got it. All right, guys, I'm going to head out of uh, commentary. Uh, I think Sage is probably going to uh, be right back over here. Have a good one. Good luck. I'll hold down the fort. It's all right. All right. Now. I kind of want to talk about that last match, how... He didn't have platforms to run away with, and that, I mean that helped Red Tux a little bit. But Maki can also needs to understand that he can run towards Mega Man, just to, you know, be a little bit more aggressive since he can only use the only things that won't stop him from approaching him are you know like Crash Bomber or the Metal Blade because since Lemons, he's you know tough guys through Lemons, you know. So if he and with how fast Bowser can run, you know, he could easily run in and bait out a spot dodge or something like that.
All right, heading into game three here. We're going on Town and City now. Koopa's going to be online a lot sooner because, you know, low ceilings of Town and City. And it looks like, you know, wall versus early kills, you know, depending how that's going to go. Although, back air from Red Tux is going to kill, you know, a lot sooner than it has been as well. All right. Uh, Tikio Sage here, coming to help on commentary. How you doing, man? How was this first game? Okay, first game went to Makabez, you know. I mean, it wasn't necessarily like the m the most solid game. Actually, he came back from uh, he came back from down of stock, you know. Okay, and so that, Red Tux was up. Yeah, Red Tux was up first game, ended up cl uh, clutching it out, and then Red Tux, you know, with a really solid uh, game two actually, on a uh, Polytanus Temple, oh, okay. oh Omega Polytanus Temple, you know. But now we're sitting here, Town and City. Uh, first stage was a uh, Smashville. Okay. Oh, so this is game three. Yeah, this is game so three. Is this uh, best of three? Still? No, it's best of five. This is uh, winner semis now. Okay. And I'm just talk we were, I was just saying how uh, in this matchup, the only thing that can really wall out Bowser is the crash bombs and the metal blades because uh, he tough guys through lemons. Yep, absolutely. So, that makes it a very tough matchup for uh, Mega Man. But I feel like he still has enough combo potential from his uh, buzzsaw and mm -hmm. crash bomber. As long as, which, you know, we know Red Tux can play defensive. Yeah. As long as he uh, stays defensive and gets good reads, I really feel like uh, this could go either way. Yeah, I mean, it's going pretty it's going pretty back and forth, but, uh, uh -oh. Oh. oh, going for the air dodge read, you know, that would have been really yeah, good. I want to say, like, about 95%, you know, we're getting there. It's getting about to where the Koopa's actually going to, you know, confirm. He can still hit it, but we're getting to the point I where it's like actually going to confirm the stock. Yeah, he's still going for grabs, so I'm going to assume that uh, Koopa is still valid. Yeah, Koopa's still going to be valid. I mean, he was, um, he was getting it earlier, and... You know, hitting him with up air, and getting him at like a hundred percent. He was just barely on the edge of you know the blast Interesting zone. Interesting thing to note there, uh, when Red Tux was doing up airs, actually, I feel like it's way easier to kill Bowser off the top than it is from the side. You know, that would make a little bit of sense. Yeah, he does not want to be grabbed. You can you can see it. Oh, um, does it say losers? Hold up. Uh, would that be this one? Yes. Might want to move the keyboard a little closer sometimes. Oh no, it's working. Oh, semis. Maki Boss is trying to hold his ground or trying to get that percent. Of course, we're still on the first stock, so Thank you, already chat. halfway through this match with about 3 minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Uh, our Red Tux, uh, Mega Man specialist here, is uh, pretty known for taking his time. So we could definitely see this getting close. Let's see, I want to sell. I mean, at the moment, Red Tux is in the lead. Uh, we're just going to see what Red Tux does the best is, you know, just chilling like, on the edge and just a wall like of projectiles. Honest, yeah. I would say that even, like, Maki Box is up right now just because of his percent. Uh oh. Oh, be Red Tux keeps. Yeah, Red Tux likes to air dodge that even though it's way out of percent. He could just easily keeps jump away. Alright, we're taking Red Tux to take the first stock. If he can just uh, be very safe in this next couple of stocks, or the, with this next stock and uh, hold on to it, he could do it. Uh, and Koopa, nope, no. just out of percent he, for that to work. Yeah, I think he's out of percent. Just out of percent for that to work. You so know, with his rage gone and everything. Red Tux is like, I just need to get damage or not die. Uh, you know, like either yeah. one, I guess. And yeah, this is where we're going to see the wall, but, you know, any move from Bowser oh, right now really might take good, a stock. Really good spot dodging here from the grabs. I think once you're familiar with kind of how the uh, grabs set up, it's a lot easier to air dodge. Oh, that's really smart. Ooh. Oh, that back, did you see the shield damage on that back air though? Yeah, Jeez. dude. And that move does, I think, 17 damage. Yes, yeah, strong. I mean, it kills at like 70. Like in the middle of the stage. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I want my Kibaz to walk up to him and just down B. Because he would catch him. I promise you he no, would catch him. No, it happens. Him. Oh, we're going for the hard read. I mean, like, grounded down B. I promise you. Uh -oh. He's like right there. If he, Instead of doing that. Going for Koopa? You oh, know, we are. He's see, going he, for the he air dodge read. Yeah. He should have gone just for a. Um, he should have just jumped. Yeah, just jump and then try to like reset neutral. But he's got an extra 50%. Oh, nice. Super well, glide toss is such a. God, that's the scariest thing ever. Yeah, you're like, oh, Mega Man's slow, no worries. Nah. And then he's just up on the other side of you. And mix, and then you're just, what do I do? <laughs> Bowser's weakness, spot dodging. Right? He whiffs anything, he's just open. It's like, he, he does not. That's the thing. It's like uh, he can he can get things, but if he whiffs them, oh, he is so just down tilt, <laughs> just like that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Right now. I would I'm, still say that. I'm like, telling uh, I'm telling you right now. If he were to down B, it would kill. I promise you. If he down B instead uh, of going for Koopa, oh, it would kill. Oh, we're going for it. Oh, but he lost so much stage control. 
That's the thing about Mega Man. It's kind of hard to get stage control unless you can just like jump over and switch sides. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Going for the and pass. Koopa, it's that's, gonna, that's gonna be it. No. No. Nope. He opted oh. for the sit. The Bowser bomb. Ha yeah, the Bowser bomb. Just, just do it right now. Just do it right now. Grounded right now. Catch. He, he would have caught him if he would have just freaking done it. Uh oh. It's so uh -oh. aggravating. This is, this is it right now. Like. This is coming down to it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've been playing Bowser a little bit myself, and down B reads are, you know, like the easiest thing on the planet. You know, Mega, there's not much options Mega Man can do to you know, seriously punish the end lag on it. Oh, so if he, oh if he, man. If he would have had to follow up to that. I think he's just trying to play it as safe Yeah, as he's trying to play a little bit safe, but also right now, I think he might, with the, the little bit of rage he has, it might either it's, he's just uh -oh. out of range right now, or it's going to it's gonna uh -oh. finish it. Oh, going to be very safe right here. I wish I you would see. Back in the beginning, they thought Leaf Shield was useless, <laughs> and here it is helping uh, Red Tugs uh, prevent from, prevent him from being grabbed. Sorry, I'm at a loss for words right now. Oh, oh the timeout! Oh, time the timeout! <sighs> Didn't I say this would happen? Yeah. The Time Lord. All right, game uh, game three going to Red Tugs. Yeah, you're gonna click on the right player's score. I know, I know, I know which one. Okay. It's, just, it's this one. Wait, that's left players. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. That is left players score. It's just the mouse moves really fast. Okay, so this is the best of five, so he's got to do it once again. He could easily do it. I feel like he's going to take the, you know, the full 90-second break you get in between matches. He already did that once the set when he lost the first round, but after that, that was uh, really Tux. close. Yeah, Red Tux. Oh, it looks like we're take, just going straight into it. No, I would take... Uh, if you got a, you got a player on tilt, like if you got him on tilt, just, just go straight in. Just like, it's like, are you mad? Okay. Well, you're going to play mm. mad. No, I feel like uh, Red Tux would, you know, he uh, like he's doing right now. He's he's taking the break. He gets an like he gets antsy really, oh, really okay. easily. So he's he's he like a, well. he yeah, well. he did very well. Like I mean, playing defensive. Every, everyone in that situation would have been been like, oh my gosh, my heart is racing right now. You know, one little error, and then all of a sudden, Koopa and you're dead. Koopa and you're dead. Yep, that's usually how it goes with Bowser. Now, I've but, been uh, catching on. I'm I'm kind of surprised Mike Boss hasn't started catching on to this, but Red Tux likes to jump off without air dodging on the ledge. You know, tournament winners. You know, so if he all all Michael Bass has to do is put a back air there, and you know that's a stock. <laughs> all right, we're taking this one to Omega Under. Uh, what is this? Uh, Sky World. No, we're gonna go to Omega Sky World. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. Lots of shielding. Oh, is this a button? What's going on? Something's wrong. Maybe they chose the wrong stage. I have maybe. Oh, okay. Red Tux takes it. And the, the, the quick 3-1 from Red Tux. Good job. We in there. <laughs> I feel like those jokes are way, like, way too much. Yeah, it happens. Oh, uh, they want to apologize to this temple. Okay, we're going to Omega Pop. Oh, maybe that was the mix-up in, uh... <laughs> mix -ups with mix -ups, mix -ups. Uh -oh. the mix-ups of mix-ups. Uh-oh. I don't think running into that fire blast is such a good idea. We're gonna take a little nap. Maybe get over it. Oh. Hit it, grab neutral air. He yep. I mean, 54 percent. As, as soon as he, uh, Maki boss passed the bus saw, he should have known that was not gonna work and died away because he was just waiting for the the pivot grab. Oh, he didn't know he had the oh. the bus saw. He was going for a dash attack and then through the bus saw. You know, he had it and everything too. He had the read. Gotta, you gotta pay attention. Jab one and oh. Fair, reverse fair. There's reverse actually fair. a follow up. Yeah, you can you back can back air it if you get the and oh the little bit of percent and. No, we're going for the sit. So maybe going for that again. Yeah. I don't know what Mega Man's. Going Mega Man's a little bit on the heavier side. So oh, probably I want I want to say about uh oh, like 97 right plus you know 97 to 103 somewhere around there is when Man, Cooper Red, works. Red being super aggressive right now. <laughs> Spot dodge dancing right here. Gonna have to to get this matchup. Uh -huh. He's doing really well to play defensive, but also like uh, standing his ground. I'd say it's not even like a defensive playstyle. He's just standing his ground. Bowser's still living, of course, because he's the heaviest character in the game. Right. Did you know he's the 17th fastest then? Who? Bowser. Yeah, Bowser's hella fast. It's... He uh -oh. should not be that fast. Uh, that's not gonna be it's too much percent. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, air dodge reads count. Yep, yep, yeah, they do. But it's okay. I don't think Red Tux is uh, too worried about it. He's got a whole other game that uh, he can 
just wear him out. Playing against this Mega Man is very exhausting. Ooh, interesting down air. Oh. Uh oh. He wants him to air dodge. Oh, did he get knocked out? Apparently. Rough. Oh, Ooh. no. Oh, FD. I think he, he took his jump. He jabbed his jump. And uh, he also had leaf shield, so he yeah. could up me. Yep. So, uh, with a lag after that, that was just it. That's upsetting. You do not want to go off stage. I'm sad shield. about it. I'm sad for Red Tux. But, I mean, this is not over. We're taking this to game five. What a set. On Red Tux counter pick too, so I wonder where we're gonna end up playing. That's a good question. Um, it's difficult because some characters really excel with platforms, but then right. some characters you don't want platforms. But you definitely don't want a low ceiling against Bowser. So you want right. to. I would say Town and City was not a good choice because Bowser can use his back airs on them. I mean, Red Tux did win the last Town and City. I like, like I said, some characters that really like benefit from the platforms, but right. like you don't want to give anything to, to Bowser. Right. So you, it just depends on like what can you capitalize more on the platforms or not. Maybe get some situations where you know he puts him on a platform. You know, Mega Man has some pretty like good reads. You know, yeah. Fair covers pretty much a lot of the platform. You know, unless they roll back. If you space it right, you get the tech in or the. I like that he's a thinker though. I'm like that too. I, I, so I don't want to make a decision unless I know what's right. Right. And then, you know, sometimes you just gotta trust your gut and go. <sighs> oh, is he? You gotta focus on this game. Okay. We're taking a long time to. I wouldn't say a long time, but he's taking his time thinking about the stage. And I don't blame him. This is game five. This is winter Enough. semis right now. And um, this matters. And uh, currently in PR. PR ranking, we have Maki Bas at level one, so definitely a challenge. He's earned his way there with his Bowser. All right, we are taking this to Omega Palatina's Temple as an FD substitute. And the down smash. No one does 10%. Uh, that, that's a grounded up beat. Oh, that was a beat. Down smash and yeah, up beat with the uh, exact same. Yeah. Well, what happens is if they're moving, it's a beat. Yeah. It's a I'll, great I'll, out of shield option. I was more or less looking at the percent. I was like, what the heck? Yeah. It really doesn't do that much, I don't think. I mean, I mean only it only did 10%, and he got the full thing off. For Bowser, that's not a lot. Not at all. I mean, all of his moves do like 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like a match you can't just run in and try to do whatever you want. You have to respect Bowser. He was going for the shield break. Man, we're throwing all the projectiles here. He's doing really good at walling him out this time, too. And the footstool. <laughs> did you see the footstool setup he did earlier though? No, it, it was like a, it was kind of an accident, but he Z dropped uh, the thing, the metal blade at the edge, and then fast fell, and then just jumped off his head after it hit him because it put him in stun. He did it against uh, Papa John. If it works, it works. I did hear about that. I did hear about that. It was really it was kind of like you know leaf shielding at the edge or whatever, but he did it with the metal blade, and you know he could follow it down. Getting him a little bit of percent. Now the thing to know about uh, his uh, big boss, and that's going to take it, is that it actually wears off with more damage that you have. For example, um, since uh, that's a player, I can re reference this. I can't start tripping Bowser with down tilt until 170%. Yeah. So certain moves, I'm not sure how much lemon knockback has, but um, eventually it will start working. So at higher percent, but I mean, who wants Bowser at higher percent? Right. That's uh, terrifying. I'm sorry, Bowser's at uh, 110. Let me just Koopa you at 2%. Wow. Yeah, I said, sure, you can. Oh, that was a good read. Can we, can we just talk about that killed him at 108%? Oh, I see that you're landing. Let me uh, power up here. Bam! <laughs> that was good. That reset the whole game. This it really did. Re Red Tux is back in here. What percent was he at? 120? No, he died at 108. 108? Ooh, that's a lucky number. That's what I'm saying. Like, that. I don't. That, that. I mean, sometimes you just gotta play your cards, man. Like, if it works, it works. All right. I mean, that, I'm just surprised, you know, there was like zero rage and everything, you know. Just let him Bowser's walk a heavy. Up there and up smash. We're just going to throw it. 
throw you off stage. We're just gonna keep throwing you off stage. Oh, uh, we're gonna sit here. That was like oh, three grabs in a row. I mean, that's yeah, Red Sox just ran away away with the second stop. Man, I think he's feeling the fire. And then immediately looks eighty percent. No, but he's still in this. But the thing is, Bowser with more rage is just even more terrifying. So he's gonna have to definitely be careful and still play uh, spacing game. Oh, that's oh, that spot dodge would have been. Yeah, Red Sox playing fast. I want to say if he can get Red Sox off stage one more time, you know, get him to get on a ledge and uh -oh. just, just read the jump up. We're about that just percent where he got the short you can. So, no, he, no, the short you can would kill now. Yeah, with that amount of rage, I, I believe so. So these next couple of moves are gonna be really, really count. No, I, I mean, when, when, when Bowser died last time, he died at 108. That was his end percent when he took okay. the stock was taken. Bowser's back off stage. We're going for the reads. Back air did not connect. Oh, that was a really good get up uh -oh. attack. Oh, man, if you can just keep Bowser off stage, we can see something happen here. That fast fall was. Smash, smash, do it, do it, do it. I know he's gonna do it. No? Okay. We're gonna. Oh, different side. We're gonna try a different side this time. Oh, man. Uh, oh, dude. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, uh, no. This could be bad. Uh, oh, this is getting scary. Oh, oh is that it? Don't. No! no! Oh, so close. Oh, the air dodge. So so many times, Red Tux fell for the air dodge bait. Yeah, he's gonna have to be careful of that. That was 